Well, Sean, it certainly appears that we're going to see an indictment from the grand jury in Georgia that may well be coming out tonight. It could come within the next hour. And, and I, I don't know what's going to be in it. There are lots of rumors. There are allegations of, of RICO charges. We don't know what's in it. But, but, but you ask what my reaction is. I'm pissed. I'm pissed at these over and over and over again. If there are indictments tonight, it'll be the fourth indictment of Donald Trump. This is disgraceful. Our country is over 200 years old. We have never once indicted a former president or a candidate and a leading candidate for president. And this is Joe Biden and this is the Democrats weaponizing the justice system because they're afraid of the voters. This is disgraceful. It is wrong and it is an abuse of power by angry Democrats who have decided the rule of law doesn't matter to them anymore. Let me ask you, Senator, um, and so many Americans feel this way, and we're watching Jim Jordan's House Judiciary Committee on this, uh, you know, on a, on a weekly basis, and their, their key investigation is whether or not our FBI has been politicized and weaponized, whether the DOJ has been politicized and weaponized. I think we need to put emphasis on what you just said. Never in our, our long history as a country has yep. this ever happened to a former president, nor has it happened to the chief rival of a sitting president running for president. Uh, and yet they not only want these indictments, this now would be the fourth time history has been made, uh, but they want the trials in the middle of the caucus, the primary and the election season. Uh, is that as President Trump has been arguing election interference? Of course it is. And, and, and the timing is nakedly political. Every time more bad news comes out about Hunter Biden or Joe Biden, you can set a stopwatch within hours. Some clown goes and indicts Donald Trump again. And then all of the all of the little lemmings in the media go run and say, Trump, 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 Trump. Look, last week. The House Oversight Committee released bank records that showed that Joe Biden's family and associates received over $20 million from foreign sources while Joe Biden was vice president. So just when he's in office, over $20 million. Let me ask you, is there anything on earth, Sean, that Hunter Biden could do for you that would be worth $20 million? Well, if you're a Ukrainian oligarch or a Russian oligarch, I guess so. And if you actually go uh, just after the vice presidency, Hunter, Hunter and, and his family got another $8 million from the Chinese communists. You know what just happened last week? Last week, the statute of limitations ran on the $8 million that flooded to the Biden family from the Chinese communists. You know who let it run? David Weiss, the U.S. attorney who is obstructing justice, who is blocking an investigation. And what did Merrick Garland do? He named him a special counsel, which is disgraceful. As you know, I do a podcast every week, Verdict with Ted Cruz. Today's podcast goes through why David Weiss's appointment is illegal. It is directly contrary to DOJ guidelines that say that it has to be someone outside of the Department of Justice. Merrick Garland doesn't, ma doesn't care. He's ignoring the law. But more importantly, it's supposed to be someone with integrity to prosecute. And David Weiss has shown that he's willing to block prosecution of Hunter, to allow the statute of limitations to go forward, and to allow apparatchiks on his staff to protect Joe Biden, to say no questions about the big guy, no questions about Joe Biden. It's why you've seen two senior IRS career whistleblowers come forward. And it's why I believe we're seeing an indictment likely tonight, because the media wants to change the topic. I have a couple more questions, Senator. I just want to bring people up to speed at home. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office uh, is, ha has now handed a grand jury indictment to Judge Robert McBurney. Uh, as we saw just moments ago, the judge looked through the multi-page document, handing it off to the clerk's office representative. We do expect that now that the grand jury has handed up this sealed indictment, we will find out what is in it some point tonight. One other point about, about Mr. Weiss, who has now been, you know, Remember, he was the one that gave Hunter Biden the sweetheart deal, Senator, and it was the sweetheart of all sweetheart deal yep. deals. Yep. Um, and it was a get out of jail free on anything else that he might have done. You mentioned the statute of limitations. We had already known that on previous charges. We also heard from whistleblowers that were accusing both David Weiss and the attorney general of telling a very different story about the real authority yeah. that that Mr. Weiss had, whether or not he had authority in other jurisdictions. It turned out uh, that, in fact, he was telling the IRS whistleblowers that he was telling them he did not have that authority. So either the whistleblowers were lying 
lying or Merrick Garland and David Weiss are lying. I know who I tend to believe. Yeah. So, so listen, Sean, I'm right now, I'm back in Texas. I'm here with incredible patriots at the Kingwood Tea Party. And I'll tell you, I am in a room with hundreds of Texans right now who want to see accountability, who want to see the rule of law, who are ticked off that the president of the United States, there is now growing and, and, and overwhelming evidence that Joe Biden has made a business out of selling favors. Hunter Biden was the salesman. And let's be clear, it's not access. It's not the appearance of access. What the allegations from the whistleblowers, what the allegation in the FBI FD 1023 are, are that Hunter Biden sold official favors from daddy, from Joe Biden. That is bribery. And bribery is explicitly enumerated in the Constitution as a basis for impeachment. And instead of this circus and sideshow of indictment after indictment after indictment of Donald Trump, I believe the House of Representatives needs to move forward with an impeachment inquiry for Joe Biden. And if it's proven that he accepted a bribe, he should be impeached. He should be removed from office. He should be indicted. He should be prosecuted and he should go to prison. Now, let's get your reaction to this news. NBC reporting that Fulton County Grand Jury has returned 10 indictments. Uh, we are awaiting the names and the details. And we obviously we, we have to believe that one of them would be President Donald Trump. Uh, then I, I, if I had to render a guess, one has to wonder uh, if Rudy Giuliani's name would be in there or Sidney Powell's name would be in there or John Eastman's name would be in there. Again, I'm only guessing. But if I had to give a, a educated guess, I would say those are the obvious. Your thoughts? Yeah, look, I, the, the one that, that is obvious that it's going to be is Donald J. Trump, because it is clear that this prosecutor went in with an objective to indict Donald Trump. It's the same th thing as Alvin Bragg, the wild George Soros partisan in New York. It's the same thing as Merrick Garland and Jack Smith. And by the way, Jack Smith has a history of bringing partisan indictments. He indicted Bob McDonnell, the sitting governor of Virginia, when he was a credible candidate for president. He got a conviction, and that conviction went to the U.S. Supreme Court, and it got unanimously thrown out. But the conviction was all about politics. What they want to do is they want a trial to attack Donald Trump. They'd like a trial in September or October of next year, right before the election. The other 10 people, I'm not going to speculate, or the other nine will find out. But frankly, there were nine people who were unlucky enough to be standing somewhere in or around Donald Trump. Their target is political. This is not the rule of law. This is not enforcing the law fairly. This is because partisan Democrats have convinced themselves, look, if you disagree with Donald Trump, campaign against him. That's called democracy. But Democrats don't believe in democracy because they're worried the voters don't want four more years of the disaster that is Joe Biden. And so they want to abuse the justice system to try to take that choice away from the voters. I, I think that's shameful. All right.